What's up guys and welcome back to another extra video. Today we are hopping into the ninth episode of the fifth season of Smallville Lexmas. Hope you guys had a great holiday weekend. If you are on Patreon, this is uh, going to be posted on the 5th of July. So happy 4th of July. I hope everybody had a great uh, 4th of July weekend. If it's on YouTube, it's going to be much later than that, but I'm still... I hope you guys had a great holiday weekend. I know that I did. I had a blast uh, out in New Jersey with a bunch of friends uh, for both days, actually. And it was just a lot of fun. And uh, I hope you guys had fun watching the fireworks and, you know, eating some barbecue and everything else. So, uh, yeah, I had a good time. I hope you guys did, too. Uh, as far as Smallville, let's see, last time was uh, Solitude, where Martha got um sick um because spike was basically putting out his master plan because they're trying to figure out like what his end game was like for finn and clark and everything well we found out that he wanted to gain clark's trust so that he could take him to the fortress of solitude and free zod i'm like holy crap okay um so that was his end game and i guess he got stabbed in the back and i guess he's gone i don't know maybe he'll come back maybe he won't i don't know but uh, i'm definitely looking forward to this next episode i'm guessing by the title it has something to do with christmas and obviously lex so i'm excited to see what this episode is all about because i don't think we've done a christmas episode yet i think this is this is the first one um christmas wise so yeah I'm looking forward to it. So if you want to see my full reaction, you can head on over to my Patreon page. The link is in the description below. Or you can hang out right here on YouTube. That's perfectly fine. Just be sure to take 30 seconds to like, comment, and subscribe. So without further ado, here we go. We are hopping into the ninth episode of the fifth season of Smallville Lexmas. Let's go. Not looking for trouble. Dude! Take it easy. Take it easy. Yo! What the hell? He's not having a good Christmas. Is he in like a dream? Of course, Lana's with him. Wait, wait, what? I would be so confused right now. Whoa! Oh, she prego. Is this like his fantasy? That's the question I'm wondering. Ghost of Christmas Past? What are you doing, Mom? My dad. What are you talking about? Thanks for giving me answers. Oh, they just like left him on the street? Uh, oh, those clothes look good. Look, I know you're not sold on the whole idea of me running for state senate. I'm not keen on the idea either, but okay. There, she's perfect. Yes, she is. <laughs> you're saving me from another plastic store-bought holiday. You're welcome. Chris is at the cans would be awesome. Hi, Chloe. Clark, I've got a problem. Meet me at the planet. Uh, of course it's a problem. At least someone found them. Try and be back by six so we can make it to the Kent's party. And this year, try and remember that we're on a budget. What? <laughs> He's like... <laughs> Lex, it's been seven years since your father cut up your platinum card. I think it's time to embrace the middle class lifestyle. I know that you only overspend because you want the best for us. It's part of why I love you so much. Clark? Hey, Clark! Oh, you have no idea how happy I'm to see the two of you. Are you a father again? No, not yet. I was just. Oh, I like Chloe with the long hair. And the pretty obvious extensions, but I like it. Hey, I missed you, little guy. Come on. Aww. I'm sorry I haven't been around lately. Things have been crazy at the planet. He's at the planet? He's been promoted. Now I'm a full fledged reporter. Yay. Congrats, Claire. My book's been published in January. You got a book? Wow. They love the idea of a Luther Corp expose complete with an anonymous tell all source. Hmm, I wonder who that is. Your son's been shot. No, thank you. I see that. Fortunately, his life is no longer in danger. I'm afraid Lex is going to be permanently paralyzed from the chest down. What? Your son's internal bleeding created a blood clot that's slowly compressing his spinal cord. If we could relieve the pressure, we might. If. No, we are going to do it. But Lex hasn't stabilized yet. An operation at this stage could kill him. My son is going to walk. Doctor. Well, the presents need to be delivered tonight, and the Teamsters are on strike. So instead of calling FedEx, you called me? Well, you know, super there speed, man. To ask, but I mean, you do run faster than a speeding bullet, and I know you don't Shh, want to... Shh, this guy been... Wait, Chloe, what are you doing? Chloe? What? Toys 
Parents for Tots, Toys R Us. How many are there? A couple thousand, give or take. A couple Today, thousand? So Chloe. Here comes Santa Claus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got a little Clark and Santa hat. <laughs> zoom, 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 zoom. You're not Santa Claus. Uh, yes, I am. I'm, uh, I'm just the younger, hotter version. I'm the new improved model. Liar, you can't be Santa. He is. What? But, <laughs> oh, God. Well, why don't you have a seat? What are you doing up here? Look at the world lately. So take, 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 bitch, bitch, bitch. <laughs> oh, that's so accurate right now. <laughs> what happened to Christmas? Oh, don't do that, Santa. It's gonna take a lot more than Santa Claus to revive it. I am having Lex airlifted to the Davis Clinic in Metropolis for immediate surgery. Their neurosurgeon is standing by. You are going to walk. Okay, whatever, budget. What you that you've given in to your son again? There's treats for me. Oh, I don't know if I ever told you this, but after my mother died, father didn't allow Christmas to be celebrated in our house. I saw this tree, and it was exactly like the ones I dreamed about all the years I couldn't have one. Aww. Somehow it represented all the Christmases I've had. Can you understand that? Of course I can, honey. The same thing that you tell me every year. <laughs> Aww. Why is it weird that they're actually really cute? Alex, you know that Christmas is just another opportunity for your father to ignore you. It's his way of reminding you just how disappointed he is in you for turning your back on what he thinks it means to be a Nice exposition scene. <laughs> you gave up your first Christmas with the girl you have loved since you spied on her through your telescope. <laughs> to these well, I wasn't spying. Right, her. right. Mm hmm. Look, I wasn't the only one. My friend Chloe, she gave up her plans too. I mean, someone had to do it. Otherwise, those kids wouldn't have gotten their presents. They're the ones who really need them. I guess I was wrong. The spirit of Christmas isn't dead after all. D are you serious? Come on. <laughs> I gotta save the drink too, man. <laughs> of course. Look at this fancy party. Probably shouldn't be showing you this, but being a state senator does have its advantages. Like a senator, nice. I couldn't be prouder of you if you were my own son. Oh, that's like all he wants. This has been the best day of my life. It doesn't have to end, Lex. Follow your heart, not your ambition. You know, my life hasn't turned out at all the way I planned. And yet I've never been happier. Makes you a wonderful life. And every reason to be happy. Something I still can't quite believe. Me and Lana. Now how the hell did that happen? Became the kind of man she could love. He's probably like the last person you, you should be asking. Come quickly, it's Lana. Got a second baby. She's perfect. What? No, 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 no. What the hell happened? What's happening? Oh, uh, it sucks. I know it's a dream, but still. How is she? I'm sorry, but your wife has lost a lot of blood. There's got to be something you can do. Damn. Uh, now he's got to go beg him to his father. It's Lana, Dad. We've got to get her to a specialist. My wife is dying, and I need to have a jet to save her. I understand you perfectly. You turned your back on me seven years ago, but now you need my help. She's the mother of your grandchildren. <laughs> How can I have grandchildren? I don't have a son. Ow! Lionel, right? You can save her. Don't you understand that every decision you've made has brought you to this very moment? I warned you, but you chose to give up your family. And when you made that decision, you gave up the money and the power that would have enabled you to save your wife. You son of a bitch. You better get back to it. You have to be strong, Lex. Or Alexander. No. Anna, I love you. Maybe I tell you that all the time. I don't know, but I mean, I love you. I have always loved you. Why is this good to me a little bit? It's like a dream world fantasy world. What's this good to me? I thought you were showing me a better life. I am. A life full of my wife dies. A life full of pain. No, Lex. A life full of love. Everyone I've ever loved has died. And I couldn't do anything to stop it. <laughs> Son, uh, I'm here. <sighs> Damn, look at all the presents that are still there. Merry Christmas, Chloe. Santa? Hey, Santa. Let me give you two a hand. I am funny. What's your job, you know? <laughs> well, we definitely could use all the help we can get. I've organized the addresses from east to west, so if you just... Oh, there they are. <laughs> so what, in this world, I guess Santa's real in this world? <laughs> Dr. Lithbeck told me the odds of survival I had going into surgery. Yeah, not good. You went against the doctor's advice, not because you wanted to save me, but because you couldn't bear having a cripple for a son. 
That's what I said. You may hate me for taking the risk, but I had to make a choice. And you're alive, and you can walk. What if I hadn't made it? How would you have justified your decision then? He got you. Look, everybody, it's snowing. Oh, we're going to have a white Christmas. I think I've only ever had a white Christmas like one time. I think it never snowed until like January. Merry Christmas, Lon. Merry first Christmas together, Clark. There's so many. Uh, that's heavily not true. What I want more than anything is to live happily ever after. And do you know what the secret to living happily ever after is? Power, money, and power. I don't think that was the lesson you were supposed to learn, Lex. Do whatever it takes to knock Jonathan Kent out of the race. I want to be senator. I want it all. And he is turning full on evil now. Well, um, let's just go ahead and we'll talk about it. Well, that was the ninth episode of the fifth season of Smallville, Lexmas. Um, I thought it was a it was a decent episode. Was it my favorite? No. Was it a cool concept and I was enjoying it? Yes. Um, I liked the the Basically, there were like two stories. There was Clark and Chloe dealing with like Santa, <laughs> which was really cute and that was always fun. And then you had Lex in his like dream world. And in his dream, you know, his fantasy is having this life with Lana and being, you know, married, having a couple kids. And he, you know, stripped away of his dad's money and power. But he was happy, he had a good life, and unfortunately his lesson was supposed to be that, you know, go with your heart, don't go with your ambition, because your ambition is what brings out the dark side in you and makes you go bad. So if you go with your heart, like, this is the life you can have. But unfortunately at the end, Lana ends up dying and he can't do anything to stop it. So instead of learning the lesson, to let love in because he can have this life he learns the lesson of if i have money and power i can stop bad things from happening to those who love me and that means he's not going to be the good man that he turned into in his fantasy he's going to turn into the bad man which is what basically that last scene of of this episode was which is actually really cool uh, i just love the way he says like i want it all i was like ooh, that was so good and juicy Ooh, so good and I love how they, and I do love the other storyline with, with um, Santa and everything. I thought that was fun. It was playful. Apparently Santa is real in this life or in this, you know, world. I don't know. It was fun. It was fun seeing Clark in a Santa hat, you know, running around. I thought they were just having fun with it. And of course, as I said, like during their reaction, you know, when he was talking to, you know, drunk Santa, it was, you know, this is soups. People are having a hard time and when he talks to them, you know, and he convinces them to live a better life and, you know, and Santa is inspired by, by Clark and he goes off and he finishes Clark's task. So that was fun. Um, it was a feel good episode all around. I really enjoyed it. Was it a great episode? No, but I thought it was fun. Um, and I love the whole fantasy of it, especially leaning into Christmas. So um, I'm going to give it an 8, 8 out of 10. And honestly, I was surprised. I didn't find many on the tally board. Of course, we have a plus one for hospital visits because Lex gets shot. Um, but we also, I realized we have a plus three in terms of person of color characters. I was like, whoa. Because they had the two who were um, the... Um, the shooters were of uh, age were Asian, and then we also had uh, Griff, I think his name was, that was helping um, Lex. So that guy was black. So I'm like, really, really, you had to do the people who are not white in order. They're the bad guys in this episode. Really, show really. But that's a whole other big long conversation that I. Obviously, I'm not getting into it right now. So, yeah, so that was the episode. Um, I hope you enjoyed my reaction, and I hope you enjoyed this episode and watching along with me. If you want to see my full reaction, head on over to my Patreon page. The link is in the description below. Or you can hang out right here on YouTube. That's perfectly fine. Just, just be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I guess I'll see you for the next episode.